Okay guys, this video I'm going to show you how to sell subscription uh, services in your WordPress website. After you uh, install the WooCommerce, uh, we need another extension uh, in order to achieve uh, what we want. Uh, we have a few options here. You can use the S2 member framework uh, or Gravity Form plus uh, one PayPal add-on and then or you can use a WooCommerce plus one extension uh, this video I'm going to show you how to use WooCommerce and extension if anyone interested in uh, the other two uh, please comment below I will make a separate video for that okay so right now we have a few extension to choose from one is this one I already have a lot uh, uh, many sales so this one is proven uh, working well uh, the price is uh, 49 and then another one is this one the WooCommerce subscription uh, the price is quite uh, higher compared to Sumo but this one is uh, developed by WooCommerce so this will ensure now the extension will 100% uh, compatible and in future also this extension also 100% compatible with uh, WooCommerce because they are from the same developer so in terms of price factor if you want to use uh, uh, something cheaper maybe you can try the Sumo subscription and then uh, in terms of functionality actually you have to have a look uh, on all the functionality here and view the live review here uh, personally I think this one have uh, some uh, advanced function I, I'm not uh, claiming that uh, this one is not good but uh, in terms of price price factor I think maybe I, I will go for this one but in terms of uh, long long term investment I want to make sure uh, my site uh, without any problem in future I may go to uh, this one so let's proceed uh, after okay this video I'm going to use this one and show you uh, the setting the basic thing that you need to do okay after you install it after you install it you see if your site already have existing product let me edit one for you to have a look you will see this one sumo subscription the default will disable for all existing product here so that you can enable it uh, one by one or you also can use a uh, uh, bug action here the bug action is under the sumo subscription setting tab you also can apply to all product update click the update button just click the enable and then you press the save and update button all the product here the subscription will be uh, turned on uh, so technically this this uh, extension you can use it for a lot of purposes like for example if I already have uh, this product this product requires shipping in my store and I want to offer uh, services that uh, let my customer to subscribe so that one is a uh, services this one is a product so my setting will be I will uh, I will only enable enable the product for selected product I can type my product name here and then will apply to those product only and then you can also use this plugin let's say in right now my store have uh, four items four items for uh, for sales this one is uh, required shipping so I want to offer maybe a different discount for my private member I mean let my member join this site maybe charge them a money fees and then they can entitle 20% for all the product you, you can also do that with this one so technically the process is quite simple what you need to do is uh, you, you just go to add new product let me show you the, the simple step uh, let's say this one is a premium member premium member you can put your description here uh, this one blah 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 blah, blah then this one I enable this one the subscription duration is a uh, one month try period you can also force a try period here let, let them to try yeah you can also trust them a uh, 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 set uh, sign up fees this one and then uh, you can also 
fix the recurrent cycle from here. This one is uh, non-stop until they cancel. And then the sign up value, let's say this one I put optional, I put disable. The regular price is uh, per month is uh, 30, per month is 30 USD. And then, I, and then you upload the uh, product image and then you choose the category. Maybe you can uh, add a new cat category for your subscription product and then uh, click uh, publish. Okay. After that, uh, you can see the products is here already. This one, you can sign up one month for each month. Uh, your description is here. Okay, so after you do this one, uh, you can build a page. You can add new page. Sign up. This one is from my team. I built a custom uh, cater for that. So for your case, uh, you can use your own setting. Then you use the Visual Composer. This one is premium member. Visual Composer, you add element. You go to the WooCommerce tab. You can show a single product page here. You type your product name. Then click update. Yeah, you see this one is the sign up. So uh, actually, you can use uh, this trick to add another product page here if you want. So the product page will show uh, a few product will be showing here. So this one, okay. Let's say right now, uh, right now you you want to right now in my shop shop page, I also have this product. Uh, Let's say if you want to hide this product, hide this subscription product, only show the real product here. Actually, you can do it in your uh, pro product editing page. You just need to click the edit, then press hidden. Click update. You see where we hide. So basically, we only put this product into a custom page, and then you this custom page you can use the menu section to to put it somewhere here into your top menu into your top menu. Okay, so technically this is uh the basic step. So let me go through the setting step. The setting step right now. You can change your add to chart uh, button text here. Uh, the default one is uh, sign up now. You see, uh, let me preview it for you. Okay, this one is my normal product. The normal product, the button text is add to chart. So this one is my subscription uh, services. Uh, is sign up now. You can change this one. This 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 text won't apply to add to chart. Won't apply to add to chart unless you go to the bug action you apply to all product then you update then everything here the text will be uh, sign up now so the general section here uh, you can see we have a short code to use so technically you can use this uh, short code uh, to insert into any section you want and then so right now have another if you want to include the shipping cost include the tax cost you can also do it here so let's proceed with the order subscription I just want to you to have a look before you purchase this uh, plugin uh, you can also enable order subscription as a single subscription so and then you go to the my account ah this one my account page setting you 
you if you want to allow your uh, su subscriber to pause their sub uh, subscription services you can do it here uh, just take it and then if you want to allow them to select the resume date you can also do it here and then if you want to allow them to cancel their subscription you can do it here by default all is unticked and then we go to the advanced step the advanced step you can add a rules here you technically you can add a rules here but this one is uh, for uh, uh, advanced user the normal uh, web store well, I don't think we need this uh, function so the subscription status the color you can do it here also you can change your color the quite user friendly this one then the color setting number attempt cancel subscription okay I think this one the rest is the basic and then the bug action the bug action is uh, ah this one this one because uh, uh, I do not use uh, use the bug action to update yet so you see right now you see this one my normal product my four of my normal product the button is add to chart and then this one the button is uh, sign up now if you click the update button you apply to all product here you click enable and then you click uh, save and update everything all the rest of the product the add to chart button will, will change now so depends on your setup and what you need technically so let's say your site if your site the if your site right now already have a few subscription product that you already add there and then your site also have uh, a few real product there so what you need what you need to do is uh, you can choose selected product you just type the subscription product name there and then click apply uh, click the update button and click enable so this way will auto and en enable the subscription uh, staff into the the product you choose so let's go to the message yeah the message is quite simple this one to display this one is all the short code so I think uh, I will end this video here so if you have any question uh, please comment below uh, or want me to do a separate video for a different setting uh, I will do that for you okay thank you very much